That was 78 standard meteor smashes in Smash 4. By standard, I mean a meteor smash that isn't a custom move, item, or final smash. And for me fighters, that means their standard 1-1-1-1 moveset. Actually, let me explain. There's no such thing as an actual spike in Smash 4. In Melee, there was a meteor smash and a spike. The difference being, you could meteor cancel meteor smashes, but you couldn't cancel spikes. So in Smash 4, since there's no meteor canceling, every meteor smash functions like a melee spike. It's really not that hard to understand, but I just overcomplicate things. And plus, I guess people just call them spikes in Smash 4 because it sounds cooler than Meteor Smash. Oh, that was a pretty swell Meteor Smash that I just got on my adversary. So how come there was no Bowser Jr., Wario, Meta Knight, Lucario, Jigglypuff, Dr. Mario, or Pac-Man in the beginning montage? Well, that's because of all their attacks and their standard movesets, none of them have Meteor Smashes. However, some of them do in their custom kits as well as final smashes. And while all multi-hit moves do send your opponent downward, some of them only send your opponent down enough to combo into the next part of the multi-hit move, so it's not really considered a meteor smash. So why is Ganon's side considered a meteor smash, but Bowser's side isn't? Well, from my understanding, it's because you can tech a grounded Ganon side, but you can't tech a Bowser side B. Also, Ganon's side is inescapable and Bowser's side isn't, so apparently those two factors are the reason why it's not considered a Meteor Smash from what I read. I'm not too sure. If anyone has any more information on that, please let me know. I just thought I'd mention Bowser's side in the video regardless. And by the same token, how come Rob's up throw is considered a Meteor, but not Charizard's, Kirby's, or Meta Knight's? Again, from my understanding, it's simply because Rob can do this. I think the other three up throws should be considered meteors, but again, if anyone has any additional information on this, feel free to let me know. So who has the strongest meteor smash in the game? Well, it's Ganon's Dare, and it also can't be teched if you're grounded. The weakest is Little Max Dare, but it's also the fastest, coming out at frame 1. I'd say something like Captain Falcon's up tilt is the in-betweenest, and Roy's, well, Roy's is just fucking terrible. But apparently he can do this, which is pretty cool, I guess. So why am I telling you guys all this information? Well, that's simple. It's because dunking your opponent is fucking awesome. So let me know what your favorite Meteor Smash in Smash 4 is, and tell me why in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. I'll see you all next time. Deuces. Now that right there was a true gentleman's meteor smash that I just attained on the opposition.